My name is Melissa Beto, and I am the lead for the Forensic Science Program. In my honors course, students are at first introduced to the Forensic Science Program. So they'll get a good idea of the courses they're going to take and what they can expect from their coursework. Then after that, we get into what different careers they can have and what the education and training requirements are for that. And then another thing that I love to do in my honors course is an immersion experience. So I have experts who have graduated from our program come back and talk to our students. And then I also take a field trip out to a crime lab so that they can see what it's like to actually be in a crime lab and see if they can picture themselves actually working in the field. So I think this course helps honor students prepare for their future career in forensic science because they're able to actually see what it takes to get there and then they can also see or get an idea of what it would be like to actually work in the field. So they go into their program knowing that this is the right undergraduate program for them because they are confident that this is a career that they want to get into. A lot of the common questions that I get from students who want to major in forensic science is the different sites that they may see working in all of the different disciplines. So some are more wanting to be out in the field, others really don't want to be working in the field, they want to have that just standard 9 to 5 career. Some of them like working overnight, some of them like working in large groups, whereas others like working more individually or with another student. So one thing that we commonly talk about in my honors course is writing a resume. And so as freshmen, I teach them the things that they need to know from all of their science courses as they take them so that they can boost their resume. A science resume is very different than any other resume that students have written, and it needs to be detailed in all of the different science disciplines and hands-on experiences and labs that they know how to do. Uh, another topic that we talk about are some ethical issues that have arisen in forensic science and how to be that voice to speak up when they see that something isn't going well. The biggest advice I would give to a student starting a career in forensic science is to really walk the straight and narrow path, so to speak. So they want to make sure that they're always engaging in activities that will benefit them now and in the future and not detract from that. So we talk, uh, for example, about drug use, about you know, obeying all laws, even you know, minor traffic violations and things like that, because all of that can come up in a background check. And it's just those minor things or little things, so there are sometimes big things, that can happen that will keep them from moving forward in their career or even getting it started. So the advantage of hearing all of this during a student's freshman year is because they, first of all, they know what they're getting into with their degree program, but then also they know what they need to do in order to get to where they want to be. At the same time, it's important for students to realize early on in their undergraduate career whether or not this is something that they really want to do. And so if it is not what they're passionate about, then this gives them an opportunity to change their path early on in college. One thing that you'll find in my honors course that you will not find in any other course or even club is the in-depth tour that we get at a crime lab. If I can, I try to arrange for one of the graduates from our program to actually do the tour and then provide a hands-on activity while we're there at the lab but our group gets taken into a lot of places in the lab that generally tour groups don't get to go into. So they get a larger, more immersive experience in the lab, in the environment, and actually looking at evidence than you would if you were to just take a general lab tour. So I try to integrate as much as my work, I guess, in life history into my honors course as much as I can. I start by talking about my experience as an undergraduate. For example, I went to a, was a hiring kind of a seminar, uh, if you will, and I remember handing someone my resume and they looked at it and they handed it back to me and told me what I needed to change. And it was just, it had such a profound effect on me that the all the information that I was given on how to change my resume, I pass on to all of my students. 
I also share as many stories as I can with my experience working in the lab, working with others, and facing ethical dilemmas and issues within the lab. I would say my favorite part about teaching my honors course is the freedom that the Honors College gives me to make the experience one that I know is going to be very valuable for my students. I love the fact that they trust me enough to know that what I'm doing will highly benefit all of our students and it just allows me to make a really fun, immersive experience that I know our students are going to get a lot out of.